Astronomy event September 2022. It's hard to follow up a month like August. Every year the August night sky wows with a percent shower and a host of other astronomical events. But this year September does its best. The September night sky is full of interesting astronomical events. This month you'll be treated to a series of planet gazing opportunities a few other celestial objects, and of course the September equinox. Whether you're new to stargazing or just seeking some of the other interesting astronomical sights, there's plenty to see in the night sky in September. Let's take a look at some exciting astronomy events for September 2022. September 1st. Peak of the Origin Meteor Shower. Orga is one of my favorite winter constellations. Its big bright stars are easy to spot in the sky. And while it's not winter yet, Orga is beginning to rise in the sky. With it comes its own meteor shower. The Origin meteor shower is definitely a minor shower. Its maximum rate ZHR is only about 6 meters per hour. That said, if you're out stargazing on September 1st, you might spot a few of them. The moon will be just 31% illuminated and shouldn't pose any interference to starting September with shooting stars. September 8th, conjunction of the moon and Saturn. Continuing to explore the solar system this month, the next night is another opportunity to gaze upon a large celestial body. Specifically, Saturn and the Moon will appear close together in the early morning sky on September 8. This is called a conjunction. At their closest, they'll be 356 apart in the sky. Given that this event happens the morning after your best chance to see asteroid 3 Juno, you might view them in the same session. However, the moon is approaching its full phase and will be brightly 96% illuminated so may make it harder to spot these various astronomical events depending on the atmospheric conditions where you're viewing. September 9th, peak of the Epsilon Perseid meteor shower. September is not known for its meteor showers. Even those due that a core have a hard time comparing to the show the Perseids put on in August. Still, any chance to spot them is worth trying if the skies are clear. On September 9th, you can try to spot Epsilon Perseids meteors. Despite their name, these meteors are likely not caused by the same comet 109 Swift Tuttle as the August Perseids. Instead, they simply appear to radiate from the same point in the night sky, which is how meteor showers get their names. At their maximum, you can look for roughly 5 Epsilon Perseids per hour, coming from the general area of the constellation Perseus high in the southwest sky. Like we said not as spectacular as Perseids, but still interesting. September 10th Full Moon. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The harvest moon, the sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the harvest moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. Over the nights following the 10th of September, the moon will rise around an hour later each day, becoming prominent later in the night. Within a few days, it will only be visible in the pre-dawn and early morning sky. September 11th, conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter. Next up is Jupiter's first great viewing opportunity of the month one of two. On the night of September 11th, the Moon and Jupiter will be in conjunction and appear close together in the sky. At their closest, they'll be a mere 148 apart about twice the width of your pinky when held at arm's length. 
It won't be hard to spot either the moon will be 96% illuminated and Jupiter is always eye-catching so this is a great event if you're trying to stargaze with kids or love moon gazing while out under the stars. September 14th Lunar Occultation of Uranus I've been mentioning it all year, but the lunar occultations of Uranus are some of the most exciting astronomical events to try and see and we're finally entering the time of year when they're visible from land rather than over the ocean. On the night of September 14th, the moon will pass in front of Uranus telescope necessary and this occultation will be visible across Europe, the Caucasus, and North Africa. If you're in that region, I recommend checking out this guide to seeing the specific lunar occultation. September 16th, Conjunction of the Moon and Mars. As the Moon begins to shift back toward its new phase and my preferred time of each month for stargazing, there are still astronomy events worth seeing in the September night sky. When the moon is about 56% illuminated on the night of September 16th, the moon and Mars will be at conjunction and appear near one another in the sky. They'll be 336 apart at their closest, so easy to spot together. September 22 to 23, September equinox. On September 22nd this year, the seasons officially changed, the September equinox called the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere and the vernal equinox in the southern hemisphere signals the point where Earth experiences roughly equal lengths of day and night. While there is no night sky event to view for the equinox, it's a cool time to consider our planet's place in the solar system and how we orbit around the sun. September 26. Jupiter at opposition. I mentioned a second opportunity to spot Jupiter in the September night sky, and here it is to wrap up the month. In the evening of September 26, Jupiter will reach opposition and be brightly lit by the sun opposite it in the sky. While Jupiter is always bright and easy to spot, this is a particularly great night. Grab your telescope or binoculars for an even better view of the stormy bands and many moons of our solar system's great gas giant. Hope you will enjoy the September 2022 astronomy events. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like. Also share the same with astronomy lovers. And subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.